Hey guys, and welcome to the show. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a very specific effect for a clicker game. So you have some sort of button that when clicked will create an animation to show the value of that click, as well as we have on the top left, our global score, just like that. So you can see, very cool. The little effect comes up, it fades away after a certain period of time, and our score goes up in the same increment of the click. Very straightforward. I'm not going to actually go into detail how to create a click game. Um, there are actually enough videos out there that describe how to do that. This is just a very specific um, effect. So before we jump into this code, please subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out. And like this video if you did indeed find it useful. Okay, so here's our project. The only thing I've really got in here is an empty room as well as a sprite with two sub images. So that's going to flick through um, when we hover. So I need to go into the room and I want to set score, which is a automatically global variable to zero. And while I'm here, let's create a layer on the top called effect. All right, so let's go and create the HUD quick. Uh, object HUD. And it's simply going to have a draw event. Let's uh, draw set. color C white and uh, draw text X, Y, string, score. Very straightforward. Um, before we forget, let's actually put this in the room instances layer. Uh, let's say top left. That should be good. Okay, so now we need to create the object that represents this button. There we go. Uh, let's give it the sprite. Because we have multiple sub images, we need to make sure that we set the image speed to zero. And now I'm gonna do the hover effect, which we've done countless times um, on this channel. Position meeting, and that's gonna be the mouse X, mouse Y, self being the object in question. That's the object button. And we're gonna to be toggling that image index between zero and one. So if it's hovered over, it's going to have the green, uh, the green look, this one. And if we don't have it hovered, it's going to be black and green like that. So like normal buttons, I suppose, we do a left pressed event and we can set score, you know, plus equal to one. Very simple, but that's not very exciting. Um, we want the button to create this uh, plus one animation, or in this case, plus N, it could be any score that you, you have at that time, because the way clicker games work is you have upgrades and, and you go to some sort of shop and you increase the amount of value per click and you can have some other little things happening in the background. So let's go ahead and create an object on a layer at the mouse position on the effect layer, um, object effect, we'll create this object in a moment. So that's gonna be like the plus one or plus whatever we wanna do. In this video, we're just gonna set it to plus one. Then I want the button to bob a little, so when we click it, it's going to change size and then revert back to its original size. The X scale is great for that and the Y scale. So let's say it increases by 10% on both axes. And I actually want to reset that using an alarm. And I figured out earlier that a really realistic kind of bounce back was 0. Point, uh, was it 0. 0.08. Um, so that's 0. 0.08 of a second. Let's go ahead and create that alarm before we forget. Alarm zero. We just want to actually set the image X scale and Y scale back to one. So that'll be normal ratio. Okay, so it's telling us that this should actually go away. Oh, right, whoopsie. There we go. Um, the object effect will go away once we create that, but before we do, let's go back to our room world, instances layer, bring that button in, make sure it's sort of centered. Yeah, that looks good. Now to create our effect, we actually need a font because I want it to be, I want it to be a little meaty. So FNT main, I think I selected black. Yeah, there we go, that's great. We're gonna go to create that new object now, effect doesn't need a sprite. I want to randomize because I want each one to kind of look a little bit different. So that's determining 
um, the difference between their alpha and the decay. So that's going to be how long they're in existence before they fade away and destroy themselves. So I'm going to randomize so I can make each one unique. Let's create a variable called alpha, random range. So that's going to be between 0 0.8 and 1. So they might start fully opaque um, or semi-transparent. And then decay is going to be another random range. This is the rates at which um, the opacity changes per step. So let's say 0 0.008, very slow decay, to a faster decay of 0 0.01. Now you can change these depending on how, um, how long you want them to live. Um, closer to one will increase the decay. Um, a smaller positive value will decrease the decay. Okay, so we've got to um, our step event, and I want to say alpha uh, minus equals decay. I also wanted to head to the top of the screen, so let's just say that it heads at about one pixel per step. And to clean up, we're going to say if um, if alpha is less than or equal to zero, or for some reason it gets um, you know out of the screen, let's say minus ten. Instance destroy. It'll just clean itself up. Now to actually draw the value, we're going to go and set a draw event up. Draw set font uh, fnt main and draw. Uh, text color at the X and Y. Here I'm just drawing plus one, but for example, you could at the creation of the button when we click, we could have like um, with instance create, you could say here value equals, you know, whatever value you want. And then you could um, just use that any object effect over here by changing that to value. And then that'll work. But for this example, let's just say plus one and assume that it is plus one. But in your clicker game, yes, as I say, that value will be determined um, by the state in which the game is in at that point. Okay, what else do we need here? I'm just gonna set these all to C white, actually. C white, how many are there? Oh, that's a lot of C white. Right, um, and then alpha here is going to be that alpha value that will decay. All right, so let's see. We've got a create event, randomize the alpha and the decay. Step event is going to be manipulating that alpha and that decay. And the draw event is just going to be drawing everything out. We need to make sure that our room has everything we need. We've got the HUD. We've got the click me button, each of which are on a different layer. Let's see. HUD and button on instances. The effect will be drawn on the effects layer. So it will be above the button. Uh, let's go to button just to double check. There it is, effect. Okay, so let's try this out and see what happens. All right, so we've got zero, click. Oh, nice. There we go, we've got the plus ones and they're decaying. As you can see, some are decaying faster than others. It's very slight, but I think little, little attention, um, little pieces of attention to detail like this really do um, separate games. And it is bobbing quite nicely. If you want the bob to be different, all you've got to do is change the alarm in that button object. So there we go, 116. All you gotta do is attach a shop to this where they can spend these clicks um, to increase what a click is worth. Maybe there's some um, passive clicks in the background that increases as you go. If you wanna find a really good example of this uh, try out cookie clicker, I'll put a link in the description. It's a really fun, addictive game. Try not to spend your entire afternoon clicking through it, trying to find out what the next upgrade is and the next one it can be. It can get a little out of control, but it's really fun. So now you can actually create your own click again. This is a really good um, little head start into that sort of game style. So if you found this tutorial education helpful, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Project files are in the description as always. If you like this video and want to support my work, please check out my Patreon campaign. I really do appreciate your support. Until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.